2020 frontrunner Joe Biden unveiled his climate change plan aimed at eliminating carbon emissions by 2050. He says it will be paid for by rolling back President Trump's corporate tax cuts. And it comes just a few weeks after progressive Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took aim at Biden on the issue. I will be damned if the same politicians who refused to act then are going to try to come back today and say we need a middle of the the middle of the road approach to save our lives that is too much for me Whew. power panel dan henninger wall street journal deputy editorial page editor judy miller adjunct fellow at the Manhattan Institute for Policy Research. So if Joe Biden even wanted to walk down his own road on this issue, it, it seems like the apparent owners of this issue, like AOC and a few others, uh, want him to do something specific. Right. Well, he has done something specific. It's many, many pages, even on the Internet, and I defy anybody to kind of go all the way through it. But, you know, Harris, I think the important thing is that what Biden is trying to do, along with Elizabeth Warren, who also introduced a plan today, along with Jay Inslee of Washington, who has an even more expensive plan, they want to throw down a marker as this being a Democratic issue and something that Democrats and Americans care about. Now, young Americans care about this more than older Americans, but this is an issue that resonates with young people, as we could see from AOC's impassioned defense of her uh, green dream, as Pelosi so it. It's it. Yeah, I know. He, <laughs> she couldn't even get the name right. Well, that was kind of throwing some shade, right? right. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. And oh, anyway, uh, you know, even some Republicans are figuring out that they will need some wording on what is happening with the climate, whether it's immediate or overall, whatever their perspective is. Pe people like Representative Matt Gates of Florida. So it is something for people to talk about. But is this a good strategy, uh, Dan, for Joe Biden? Well, it's a strategy that Biden has to pursue because the Democratic left, which is now driving policy inside the Democratic Party at the presidential level, for them, climate change is a religion. How did they so get that power, by the way? It. Well, that's a qu <laughs> question for an entire documentary. How did these little minority, primarily through social media, help from left-wing media, the New York Times and so forth, elevating these issues like climate change? which is so interesting because you, then you got Congress people in the House like Dick Durbin and Nancy Pelosi pushing back against that because they're the ones who actually have to spend money on things like Medicare for all, infrastructure, and I think in their world, wow. climate change comes in maybe number three. And there three. are even some Democrats in the pack. I've had on John Delaney on this very program. Yeah. He said no to Medicare for all. You call them those uh, voices in the party, the little minority, but they are becoming at least 25 percent. I've had D DNC... Uh, leadership tell me that, that, that this is becoming less of a minority number, if you will. I think well, that's one what One of you these mean. candidates is going to prioritize. I mean, they're spoking trillions of dollars for all of these things they're proposing, and yeah. eventually that someone's going to criticize but, them and say they're making no sense. Joe Biden, though, is staying out of the fray with all of them. I think he is, and I think the very fact that he remains way ahead of the other 20-plus candidates who are seeking that position, you know, as being the Democratic nominee, I think that attests to the fact that a majority of the party is in the center, and a majority of the party has one overriding goal, and that is beat Donald Trump in 2020. All right, let's look at the new CNN poll, which shows Biden maintaining what Judy is talking about, that huge lead. Uh, Warren and, Kam uh, and Kamala Harris kind of back and forth here, and then our board isn't big enough to show everybody who's less than 5%. <laughs> Actually, it is. <laughs> well, well no, go ahead. The, no, there are just, look, this is where the party is. And it's true that social media, as Dan says, wants it to be otherwise. But facts are facts. Polls are polls. Thank you both.